Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamid Youssef. The president of the Court of Cassation, Abdullah al Baraini, announced the cancellation of the annual judicial holiday for all courts as an initiative to develop the work of courts, achieve justice, and solve cases that were postponed due to COVID-19. He affirmed that all efforts will be exerted to solve cases and reach justice and added that this move will have its advantages on the social and economic fields. The decision comes in cooperation between the Supreme Judicial Council and the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, as well as Bahrain Lawyer Society. The justice sector witnessed the electronic transformation during the coronavirus through the launching of fully electronic filing and litiga of litigation services, submitting memoranda and implementing judgments, in addition to remote video trials. The Supreme Judicial Council appreciates the efforts made by the relevant authorities to address the coronavirus by taking all preventive measures and decisions that preserve the safety and health of judges and attorneys, which will be under constant review to ensure regularity of the judicial work and preserve public health. The Shura Council announced that the percentage of its members' attendance in the remote meetings since the beginning of using video conference calls due to COVID-19 reached 100%. The Council stated that this came after the decision of the Shura Chairman Ali Saleh to activate the work of the Council through video calls as an unprecedented step by the Legislative Authority to activate social distancing between the members and work remotely in line with the precautionary measures and preventive procedures to combat the spread of the coronavirus. The Shura Council held five remote meetings since the 2nd of April until the end of legislative session when the last meeting was held on the 17th of this month. The Minister of Work, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Assam Khalaf, affirmed that the Ministry pays great attention to preserving the agricultural landscapes in the Kingdom to further develop this sector, which is part of the Ministry's strategy on the Government's plan. The Minister pointed out that the area of fertile arable land is around 3,700 hectares, noting that the further 1,300 hectares can be reclaimed to encourage investment in the agriculture sector. He also noted that there are existing 720 private farms at these fertile lands, which are located in the northern governorate, noting that there are six government farms in the same area supervised by the Ministry. The Minister confirmed the Ministry's commitment to further developing the agricultural field to effectively contribute to achieve food security, highlighting the Ministry's care to this sector by supporting farmers and meet their needs, in addition to encouraging the private sector to invest in agricultural projects. The Royal Humanitarian Foundation launched a new online service allowing people affected by COVID-19 to register through national platform Bahrain.bh in cooperation with the Information and E-Government Authority. The drive is in line with the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to provide assistance to Bahraini families which were affected by the pandemic and alleviate their financial burdens during this exceptional situation. The move also follows instructions from the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and RHF Board of Trustees Chairman His Highness Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Executive Committee, chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, had directed the Foundation to set up a committee to follow up the proceeds generated by the successful Fina Khair campaign. People seeking more information and queries about the service are required to call the Foundation during working times from 8 until 2 p.m. daily on phone numbers 38104444 and 38284444. The Ministry of Health announced it started using three medical robots at the isolation wards in hospitals and centers, starting with Ibrahim Khalil Kano Isolation Center. The robots are used to transport medications and food and through a thermal camera it can send an image with temperature to the control center, while the second robot serializes the isolation rooms and facilitates of the facilities of the medical center, while the third robot is used to transfer medical supplies, are easy to move and carry heavy weights. Assistant Under Secretary for Resources and Services at the Ministry of Health, Fatma Abdul Wahad, stated that this move will create an advancement in the health sector in the kingdom as well as help with the corona crisis.
The Southern Municipality, in cooperation with the Southern Municipal Council, launched the service Municipality at Your Door to facilitate the use of municipal electronic services. The aim of the service is to deliver municipal services to community groups such as the elderly, the sick, pregnant women, and people with disabilities. Services will be provided in a fully equipped vehicle that contains a computer linked to the municipal systems supervised by a staff member. The vehicle will be provided with official forms that help people fill out the required data for them to obtain the service and it will be provided in front of the beneficiary's house. Through this service, the municipality started providing 16 services such as simple add-ons for some building licenses of less than 50 meters, as well as some licenses and addresses, services, delivery of testimonies and certificates, road work, following up on violations and receiving complaints. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 4,476 with 204 recoveries and 268 registered new cases. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules and follow instructions such as washing one's hand with soap on a regular basis along with avoiding shaking hands and close contact as well as covering the nose and mouth when sneezing and avoiding public places when possible.